I'm about to stay with a nigga for five, six years and have nothing to show for it. Who's really the fool? Hold up. Hey my rebels, so I am back with another makeup tutorial and this tutorial is going to be a blue pretty look. I've been wanting to do a blue makeup look for the longest and I'm going to execute this one. This took me forever to kind of figure out what kind of blue look I wanted to do. I didn't want to copy anyone. I wanted it to be very kind of like pretty and just different. But I knew for a fact that I did not want to copy anyone. I'm using my hangover, I wanted to make sure that whatever I used, whatever, however I did my makeup, it came out looking perfect. Not bad, y'all. <laughs> My neighbor, him and his old lady are arguing again. Like this is how it start with them. Like they start off arguing heavy and then hours later you hear the, the damn bed going off. And like they getting at it. Oh, what do I do? Now that I have my primer on, I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyebrows off camera and I will be back. So the eyebrows are done, you guys. So what's next? I am going to start this blue look. I am low-key kind of scared, but I'm not scared. So I'm gonna, most of my look, my, um, most of my blue colors are, well, all my blue colors are going to be coming from the James Charles palette. So we're going to go ahead and just start off with this light blue here. And then I'm just gonna pat the light blue kind of everywhere right now. But yeah, you guys, like I was saying that with kind of regards to them always fighting and arguing, like when do you know that when it's too much? Like they fight like cats and dogs and I always wondered like I mean I guess like deep down inside a woman always knows when it's done and it's time to just hang that shit up but let's be honest that's not easy for women because we are creatures who love hard Like when I say hard, I mean women love hard. I'm gonna just kind of like buff that out and kind of dilute that blue that I put on there. Then I'm gonna go in with a fluffier brush like this. And I'm going to go into this one right here. It's a darker blue. And when I go in, I'm going to go in towards the front end. I'm going to start tapping the front end kind of slowly. Like, relationships are hard. People don't really tell you how hard relationships are. Until you're is you're in one and you like, damn, I love this person, but I have to do everything that me and this person get on bad terms sometimes. Me and this person fights sometimes. Like damn. I'm gonna go with this Morphe brush. That's a little bit on the fluffier side. 
I don't know this Morphe brush is kind of like, like gently fluffing this dark blue out a little bit. So it's not as harsh. Then I'm gonna go in with a, my Sonia Kashuk wing, like angle brush. I'm gonna use this to cut my crease. I'm using my ColourPop like concealer to cut the crease. I feel like relationships are so much harder than we think. I'm gonna pat it down so it kind of all stays dry. Now I'm gonna go in with my powder, my airspun powder, and kind of just pat that bitch down. Next, I'm gonna go in with this. And I'm gonna go in with this color up here. Like this, where is it? This color up here. It's like a pretty light sparkle. Let's pack it on there. But honestly, when it comes to relationship, I feel like there's nothing you can really ever do besides I feel like if two people love each other, they're always going to try. Even when it gets tough. I know it kind of looks a mess right now, you guys. I'm going to clean it up. I promise. It's going to look like this. I promise. <laughs> but, um, back in the day, women were supposed to hold your man down even when he was tripping even when he was doing you wrong and i think to myself can i do that can i really hold a man down through all of his faults you know why i say that i say that to say because you can get a man that does not have any faults there are men out there. I don't care what women say. I don't care if a woman says these men ain't shit. No. All the men that you fucked with ain't shit. But there are some good men out there. So why do we as black women stick with the same men who do us dirty? I was like... It's like, I look, you already kind of know the answer to stuff like that. I can't speak on every every black woman, but I can speak for myself. I feel like I tend to stick with the same guys who do me wrong because, unfortunately, one thing that black women do, we look at a man's potential instead of what he's showing us. We fall in love with the fact that we see these men these kings these men that we love as great black men and so much potential but you we gotta remember that we're not dating you can't date a man for potential because if you do you're gonna be stuck When you date a man for potential, you are setting yourself up to be hurt. That's how I feel. 
And I'm not talking like I'm just some great guru, but I'm talking and I'm personally for me, I'm talking from experience. I have dated men for potential. And I'm going to tell you right now, that's not where it's at. You'll fuck around and love a whole man because you think he could be this great man. But you have to remember, he ain't that great man yet. And unless he is actually showing you that he is going to be that great man, there's no reason you should be dating this man if he's a grown-ass man for potential. Potential that he's going to stop cheating. Potential that he's going to stop being a ass. A potential that he is going to get up and be the man that you want. He is not, sis. He is not. And it's so funny that me listening to my neighbors making me bring this conversation up. But I always tell, I've always felt like that. After I dated a guy, I remember dating a guy just strictly off potential. Never again. Because you can't want more for that person that person wants for themselves. It's not going to work. If you want more for a man than a man wants for himself, it ain't going to work. I'm going to go ahead and put some foundation on, clean this all up. Using this Dewy Smooth by Fit Me. I have yet to master makeup and talking. I don't know how other, other YouTubers can do it. I, don't, I wish I could do it. It's so hard. Like, you don't realize how hard it is to do makeup and talk until you gotta sit your ass down and do it yourself. I'm gonna go ahead and conceal with my Too Faced Medium Tan Neutral. This one's almost done. I actually have to go in and buy a full size soon because this one is damn sure done. <laughs> like, yeah, like I was saying, you'll fuck around and stay with somebody for five, six years. And y'all got nothing to show for it. Like, y'all know closer to getting married. You probably got a few kids with this nigga. Like, you're gonna spend your whole life chasing this man who's not gonna change. And he don't got nothing to give you but a wet dick. It's kind of harsh, but it's the truth of the matter, ladies. It's the truth of the matter. Like, I know it sounds harsh, but it is really the truth. Like I said, I'm not here to judge no one. I'm saying this because I have seen women go through it. I have been through it. So I know. And you know what the hardest part about being in a relationship like that is that in the end he might just fuck around and give the next bitch everything that you wanted him to give you because you know what you just wasn't meant for you weren't meant for him like I tell people that all the time even though breakups hurt you do not be meant to be with that person I swear to god you may be thinking, you may be fucking hard down, heartbroken, but you are not meant for that person. Like as much as it hurt, you do not be meant for that person. That person is meant you. You don't work. You don't work this whole time with this person. 
being with this person in this person's face. You done did everything to help this person be better just for just to watch him or her give it to another man or another woman. And you're going to be there. You're going to be hurting. You're going to be hurting. You're going to be upset. You're going to be sad. But in the end result, at least you can be in peace knowing that you got that, that negativity and that person out of your life. And that's how motherfucking purr. Okay, so I went ahead and put my lashes on. They're on. And I'm gonna go ahead and contour so we can finish this look out, you guys. I don't know, I feel like, I low-key feel like, that everything I need to say today came from a good place. Came from a healthy place. And it came from a place of love. So, if, you know, if the shoe fits and you, you felt offended, then that mean you must have quit. Whatever OJ said. If the shoe fit, you must have quit. Nah. I'm trying to tell you, if the shoe fit, you must have quit. <laughs> Like, if you really feel like what I'm saying is about you, then sis, it may just be about you. But if you feel like, you know, you got everything down and it's not about you, then it's not about you. You know, Juno. You know? I'm gonna go ahead and put my hair on, get myself looking cute, and I'll be back. So this is it. This is the final look. I love it. I think it is so adorable and so pretty. And I think I killed the halo look. I love the blue. See you guys on my next video. Bye.